what's up everyone welcome to my live reaction to the nintendo direct we are about uh, it's about to go down i'm so excited i'm ready to go youtube peeps bandai namco they came after my last stream probably so y'all seeing this so let's get it my boys let's get it the nintendo direct is about to start up we are less than one minute away i'm excited we got the chap um you know below me here let's go ahead and we're gonna zoom in a little bit or are, are, are we not yeah we're gonna zoom in a little bit we are there we go zoom in a little bit this is gonna be hype we out here with this hype let's get it it's gonna be a lot of fun oh man i'm excited dude i'm excited for it. it's time it's time i think smash brothers is definitely gonna be there smash brothers is definitely gonna be there dude definitely gonna be there smash so let's go oh here we go baby here we go here we go let's go Oh, over, Overwatch. <laughs> Overwatch. Starting off with Overwatch. Yeah, yo, yo, it actually looks good. Heroes never die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am with you. Oh man, they got blurry all of a sudden. What the hell? like auto they're like auto what's it called October 15th. All right. Y'all know I got to get it just because for the culture. Hello, everyone. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Shinya Takahashi. And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please look forward to it. Okay, let's get into our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please take a look. Yeah, Shinya. Headlines. You gotta see these floors of the hotel for yourself. Let's go. Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion 3 takes place in a haunted hotel where every floor has a distinct theme unlike any other. Case in point, Tomb Suites. I mean, a pyramid inside a hotel? Guess we should expect some mummies. Harsh sands and booby traps. As for the other floors, well, there's a disco floor, a pirate themed restaurant. You get the idea. Yeah. It may not be the usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of bosses to check out before you, well, check out. Speaking of amenities, step right up to this all new attraction, Screen Park. Mm. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. With only one Nintendo Switch system, two to eight players can battle it out. Oh, nice! See which team can defeat the most ghosts. Collect the most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergust G00. That... YouTube? Nintendo? Why? Nintendo, why? Why? Why would you do this to me? Why? Oh my! Kirby, Kirby, and Kirby are in for some wicked boss fights. We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. Take up quests in town, and collectively, well, there's a new Kirby game for jobs. Damn YouTube! That's right. Get your weapons, get your gear, and get ready. Some mighty tough enemies await. There are more than 100 quests. So, the hell? get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. The key to victory is to know your role and work as a team. You can play alone, together on one system, team up with a wireless, or even play online.
It'll be time to unite with friends and players from around the world and overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash launches later today. And oh, remember, it's okay. free to start too. Super Kirby Clash. This long-awaited, recently released RPG is getting a remake. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy, Trials of Mana. Yeah! From six different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The ones you choose will determine which of the interwoven stories you'll follow through this reimagined world. Now you remember what will happen to so hyped for this. if I die. This interference will not be forgotten. As each character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells, step into the light, or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance and abilities. Unlike the classic version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your party. So excited for this. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Find oh my. Store. Oh my god, YouTube is ass! You've got to be kidding me, YouTube! Oh my god. Oh my gosh. We just got to go to Twitch. This is ridiculous. For the beloved world of Trials of Mana on April 24th. God, YouTube is so trash. Just what happened to the crew of this doomed ship? I'm and witness each soul's last moment. YouTube is horrible. Exactly what I give you. Explore the ship. Observe the situation. And God, YouTube trash! Without you, the true tale will never be told. What brought the Oberdin to such an end? Sorry for people that are watching. Little by little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch in fall 2019. Dude, man, this, this whole direct reaction been ruined! There's a small town out there with a big secret. Never leave town. That is the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. One day, there suddenly appeared a giant monster. To defend the townspeople, one boy named Axe will stand up to face it. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. And almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Yo! Little Town Hero will make a stand on Nintendo Switch October 16th. October?! You can pre-purchase and preload the game later today. <laughs> wow! Next month! So much for it being delayed, VC! Fall is coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Let's go! We can finally confirm the release date of Challenger Pack 3, Banjo and Kazooie. When's it coming? And the release date is... Today. TODAY! Woo! After today's Nintendo Direct, we'll broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie, featuring the game's director, Masahiro Sakurai. Yes! As a special treat, the video will begin immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right now. Yes! If you hide yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie, please check it out. Yes! Woo! Banjo today, baby! We're playing Smash tonight! Let's go! Woo! Let's go! Let's go! Oh! Oh! Here we go! Oh, it's coming! Yes! Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Yes!
Oh my god, this is so crazy! This is so awesome! I can't believe that! <laughs> I can't believe they created all this for, for just for Smash! <laughs> Bogart! Hey, come on! Bogart, let's go! T tear your face in the three, let's go! Bogart, baby! Are you okay? Let's go! November! Okay! Release date November! Let's go! Terry Bogard! Fighting legend! So... Let's go! Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the Fighters Pass. Can there really be only one left? What? The development of more DLC fighters for Super Smash Bros. No! Ultimate. Outside the five fighters included in the Fighters Pass, we can confirm that other new fighters are in development. Oh my! The battle isn't over yet. Oh my god, are you kidding me? What? So, what do you think? Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we'll have more to share with you in the future. Oh my! For now, Let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Smash Forever! It's never dying! Smash Forever! It's about time to wake the Windfish in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. <clears throat> which means the next big adventure on Nintendo Switch is fast approaching. You'll meet some strangely endearing islanders, face a series of puzzling tasks, and encounter some oddly familiar faces. Whatever happens, help Link escape Koholint Island before its mysteries get the best of him. With the all-new Chamber Dungeon, you can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons, add in plus effects that alter chambers, and save Chamber Dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda series. That way, your friends can play them. Be ready! The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will launch before you know it on September 20th. The new Link Amiibo figure will be available that same day. Oh my god, my mind's blown! You know the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now join his adventure. Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition is exactly that. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds and experience new character-focused stories. The day the game launches, free downloadable content can be found in the Champions Pack. Let's including go! Including consumable items and more equipment that can change the appearance of party members. An RPG giant draws near. Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition journeys onto Nintendo Switch September 27th. Yes, getting it. Day one, Until baby. Then, you can prepare for your adventure with the free demo on Nintendo eShop. Look how they really trying to sell Dragon Quest XI. Wow. Yeah, they're trying to sell it. Nintendo's publishing the game. Looking for more? Oh, shit! Then say hello to Tokyo. Oh, my God, you're kidding me! The worlds of the Fire Emblem series Tokyo! are crossed <laughs> paths, and the result is coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, my God! The story takes place in modern-day Tokyo, where creative energy is so abundant, its material is serious? called Performa, which attracts wicked mirages who suck it out of people. Nintendo's the greatest! They face off against this threat as up-and-comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. Fire Emblem characters like Prom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Together, you'll wage deep turn-based battles blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And 
In the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Be sure to check out the other new features, from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. Hey, is that Tiki? Oh my gosh! Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE okay. Encore releases on January 17th. January. You can pre-purchase the game later Encore. today. Oh my... Oh, that's so awesome! Welcome back to where nothing is what it seems. Boston, what is this? 2019. Okay, that It all begins okay. again when FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer case. She also opens a door to the unknown. A door that also takes us back to New Orleans 14 years ago. Excuse me? Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, A Blessing in Disguise, boggles and beguiles on Nintendo Switch in 2020. And now for a shocker. The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop at Deadly Premonition Origins later today. Nice! Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. Check it out. Oh my god, Tokyo Mirage Sessions with new content! Oh, it's available today. Nice. <clears throat> Shadow dropping, baby. And now for a message from Bethesda. Okay, Doom Eternal. Hey, Nintendo fans. Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well, this year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first-person shooter franchises ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. Nice, Doom 64. For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. We live your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. Or if you're a newcomer, experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. I can't play these games. I get too sick. Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. I get too sick, so I'm not, I'm not a big Doom fan. I get motion sickness. Introducing a brand new IP from developer High res Studios, Rogue Company. To most of the world, Rogue Company is a rumor at best, but its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization, Jackal. What is this? Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. Oh, it's good. Whether you good. Wield guns, gadgets, or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. All right, nice. Hi, Res. How's it going? Next, the new titles in the core Pokemon RPG series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We have more information to share that will shed new light on this next Pokemon adventure. Please take a look. I can't believe Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon oh Shield take place in the Gala region, a scenic land where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Among them, you'll encounter new Pokemon and meet new people throughout your adventure. 
Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. First, customizing your look. Once again, the latest entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety, including outerwear and gloves. That's cool, I like customization. Plus, you can change your hairstyle or put on a little makeup. There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look the part too, don't you think? Second, Pokemon Camp. Camp. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp anytime at Pokemon Camp. While you're there, you can play with your Pokemon. And as you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. Like Pokemon on a me or something like that. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Third, curry on rice. Yo, we cooking. Pokemon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on rice. How your curry turns out and what type it is ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. Not to mention the heart you put into it. The heart. You cook there it. are more than 100 types. And each one you cook <laughs> up will be registered in your curry decks. The goal? To master the art of curry. Huh? What's that Pokemon doing here? And fourth, we'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala region. First is Poltegeist. Normally, it makes a home for itself by hiding amongst tableware at hotels and restaurants. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. Oh, this ghost-type Pokemon also has a special ability called Weak Armor. Next, another new Pokemon called Cramorant. Look at that stupid... This flying and water-type Pokemon has one huge appetite. It will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. When it uses Surf or Dive during battle, watch as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. If it takes damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This is Cramorant's exclusive new ability, Gulp Missile. Gulp Missile? Oh, God. That that's bird looks stupid. That's to share with you today. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will launch on Nintendo Switch November 15th. Well, how about that? There are still two more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure in the Galar region. So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch Online memberships. Uh-oh. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. And now, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. Uh-oh, Super Nintendo? It's called Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online. With this, you can play a variety of classic Super NES games on Nintendo Switch. It's not worth it! <laughs> there are some you may not expect like Stunt Race FX, Ooh, Stunt Race. which will be available to play on another system for the first time. You can face off or team up in local multiplayer by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend, or even play together online. Oh, and the rewind function will be available from launch. Nice. Here are the first games we plan to release. Oh, wow. All those games? All 20 of the games you see on screen will launch tomorrow. Oh, wow! Of course, we will eventually add more to the lineup. This Super offer is exclusively available to Nintendo Switch Online members, so please enjoy them at no additional charge. Nice! Oh, you noticed this, did you? To recapture the original feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online exclusive controller as a special offer. 
To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. This Super NES-style controller will be available for purchase exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. Nice. Visit the Nintendo website for the latest information on its release. Wouldn't it be nice to play those games again with one of these controllers? Well, let's move on to some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Super Tennis is on there. I'm smoking all you guys in Super Tennis, okay? Just letting you guys know. But can you survive this? Nintendo Switch Online members, the large-scale puzzle battle game Tetris 99 is getting a free update. Tetris 99 Invictus is here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive against the best of the best? Well, good luck. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Sweet! To showcase your accomplishments, we're tossing in a vast array of new player icons too. Beyond that, the second wave of paid DLC is here as well. In two-player share battle mode, pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for a two-player game against each other and the CPU, and get together with friends to battle via local wireless on your Nintendo Switch systems in local arena mode. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will be available tomorrow. A packaged version including the game, DLC, and a Nintendo Switch Online 12-month individual membership will be available September 6th. <coughs> Mario and Sonic are ready to kick it old school in Tokyo. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games has become a tradition of its own. This time, there are more than 20 events, including the 100 meter, karate, football, skateboarding, rugby sevens, sport climbing, badminton, gymnastics, surfing, and you know what? There's more where that came from. Check out these 10 retro style events. Each one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters, and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 will go for the gold November 5th. I'll pick that one up. Or I'll probably get a review code. The next Damon X Machina demo will be here sooner than you think. Another demo? Ahead of the full game's release next week, the free demo version, Damon X Machina Prologue Demo, will be available for download later today. Okay. In this prologue, you'll man your mech through the beginning of the game. And all of your progress can carry over to the full game. Nice. If you've never played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about, this is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. A key feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players. And we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. So, gather your friends and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Nice. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? Damon X Machina will I'm be down. ready for action September 13th. I'm down. I'm getting. I'll, I'll try the demo. The Star Wars classic so fun, it's back for more. Should I outcast? Kyle Katarn, agent of the new Republic, oh, baby! really hope to stop a rogue Jedi. Get your lights what? ready. Blaster in hand. <laughs> Prepare to wield the full power of the Force. We can Courtesy of Aspire, the full single-player experience of Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast is coming to Nintendo Switch September 24th. We, we can't get the new one, so we get that. <laughs> We've got new details on some upcoming games. Here's where my journey begins. You are Geralt of Rivia, mercenary monster slayer. Your current contract? Tracking down a living weapon known as the Child of Prophecy. You'll have a whole world to explore, at home and on the go. When the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Then transform into the ultimate assassin hunter in Assassin's Creed Rogue. 
That's two action-packed games for one great value. All past DLC and new features like touch control and motion aiming coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch and Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free-to-play action RPG Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your Slayer on the go or a rookie ready to forge your legacy, you'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds of gear options, and team up with other Slayers to take down boss-sized behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. I tried to play this game and it didn't work on the PS4 at launch. Open your calendar. More games are on the way. Yeah, DMC2. How's everything going? Next up, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Oh, Animal Crossing! We revealed many details about the game back in June, so we prepared a video covering what was announced. Let's see, shall we? Thank you for choosing the Deserted Island Getaway Package. A laid-back, relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. For you and the other folks participating in the Getaway Package, the time's come to get into the groove of Deserted Island life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs, including recipes for crafting tools and furniture. Let's start by crafting an axe. We're going to need some materials, like branches, and stones. Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. Nicely done. You can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. And with those, you can craft more items. Feel free to place furniture inside or outside. You can fine tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style and you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, as part of our island cleanup plan. In addition to the usual in-game currency, Bells, you can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. 
you can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing, catch some bugs, tend to flowers, and pick them to make a garland. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. A vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Plant it somewhere else to change things up in that corner of the island. The scenery changes with the time and weather. There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch too. Sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously, up to four players at a time on one system. We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the same space. With a local wireless or internet connection, you can travel to another player's island for a total of eight players in one visit. The whole scene feels meant to be. Why not snap a photo with everyone and make it a lasting memory? How's deserted island life looking? What we've shown you here today is truly just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, and more calling to you from the island. We can't wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. I'm buying this game. I don't even really need to watch it to it. I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get it and play. So, how'd it look? There's still a bit more time until the game launches, so please stay tuned. Alright, the next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. Oh! Oh, Xenoblade! Okay, just, 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 it's a re- Oh, it's a port of the original! It's the original Xenoblade! It's Xenoblade Crack! Okay, it's a port! Okay, it's a, it's a port of the original. Oh, baby! Oh, so it, it's, it's, it's the original Xenoblade! Do you wish to change it? Huh? They did it. The future. <laughs> oh! Oh my god, it's a full remake! That's a remake! Oh no, it's, it's, it's a super port! Okay! Yes, I want that! Yes, I want that! It looks really different! It looks like a freaking remake! It looks like a freaking full remake! Oh god, it looks like a remake! Oh my god! <laughs> Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. The game is planned for release in 2020. Yes! Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Yes! Good Nintendo Direct! I don't think it was better than the E3 Direct, but a damn good Nintendo Direct.